Hi guys, it's Clyde. Uh, I just wanted to do another video here, show you a new controller design. As you can see from uh, the looks of it, it's a little different than what I have been doing in the past, but it should suffice for running the show this year. Um, I have a, a few new items, actually a lot of new items this year that I'm adding into the show and converted a lot of things over. And um, one of the things that I have been receiving is a bunch of the uh, computer power supplies, the ones that uh, are the ATX style, and uh, like I have this one here, and I'm getting these for free because people are, you know, uh, recycling their computers, and um, and this is actually a pretty hard part to recycle. It has to be torn apart, wires taken out, and so forth. So I have a, a good friend who's been dropping off a bunch of them. I have uh, over on the shelf probably. Uh, around, I want to say about 25 or 30 of these just sitting there. They're already converted, ready to add into the show for the year. But uh, what I wanted to show you is how I'm utilizing this stair light box. Um, it is a 7 quart box. I'll move in a little closer here, and you can see that it is uh, 14 by 8 by 6. And um, the setup of this, uh, as you saw in the picture, I have. Um, I have a board that sits, actually the controller, the power supply sits right inside on the bottom of the board, and then I, or on the bottom of the box, uh, then I uh, took a piece of scrap board, measured the top, and then I measured the, uh, the length that I needed to be, have it and cut it to fit the top of the box, and then I just created some legs uh, by measuring the depth of the box, and I just, you know, screwed it in right here and I just made like a kind of a, a stand for the controller to sit on. Now all my wires come up through the bottom. Uh, I have some uh, uh, strain reliefs here that uh, thanks to uh, uh, David Sayers he uh, suggested using some of these uh, special um, uh, borrow bits that I got from uh, Harbor Freight. I think I paid eight bucks for the borrow bits and uh, they work really really good. I, Nice, perfect circle holes. I mean, very easy compared to how I had been doing them with the spade bit. But um, uh, everything, as far as the build, the initial build here, it was a little confusing as how to do it. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you what I did. All right, so here we have the controller. I've taken all the uh, taken all the uh, snowflakes off, and I'll move them off to the side here. And uh, first, I'll start with um, now. Since this is actually built in, I really can't remove it unless I start disassembling or just unscrewing the strain reliefs on here. But I'll start with the front. Uh, I used uh, one strain relief. This this strain relief, I think, this is a three quarter inch, and this is a five eight. Um, that I had to drill a three quarter inch hole for this one and I had to drill a one inch hole for this one so I used a spade bit for this because the because uh, the other drill bit wasn't uh, big enough. On the back side I used two more of these one for uh, one for the network cables I'll run two network cables they can run safely through there and whenever I'm ready I'll just use the strain and relief clamp it down during the haul during the, the season to make sure that it doesn't get jacked away and pulled out and mess with the wires or anything. Uh, and then the other one is the uh, actual power supply cable. Now, what I had done was I went online and I found um, I found some computer power supply cable cords, and uh, I found them for like twenty cents a piece shipped, and I bought a, a couple of them because every computer power supply I was getting didn't have a cable. So I I bought a couple of these, and all I'm doing is I'm cutting the cable right here at the neck and then I am connecting it inside here but then I'm running the wire through so I can run and solder these two pieces together and that's what I did so um, so that I, I'm able to use the original power supply cable and that way I, I really the only work I have to do is solder three wires together I don't have to tear this apart and buying one of these uh, brand new usually runs about two dollars or three bucks now 
I got a cable for, for 20 cents or 30 cents, and it has the correct uh, female in to go into the power supply. I don't have to buy anything um, outrageously expensive to make this work for my needs. So that was, uh, that was one of the things I had to do. Uh, another thing is looking at the, um, at, the, at the board here, there are usually two XLR uh, connectors here, one's an in and an out. And on this specific uh, board, I removed those because whenever I went and test fitted the lid on top of here, the lid fit fine except right where the XLR connector would sit, this was bowed up, pushing up against the top and making it a little less stable and, and sturdy. I mean, it, it's, it's stable and it would work, but I wanted to, I, there was really no need for the XLRs. I'm using network uh, Ethernet cables, RJ45 connectors, so there was no need to, to mess with XLRs. Uh, besides, they're way cheaper to get uh, network uh, RJ45 jacks. So um, I still have some things to do with this, but as far as the controller is concerned, I've, I've literally taken one of my 12 volt wires, which is the yellow cable coming out of, the, out of the controller, out of the power supply, and I took a black cable, and that's the ground, and I'll uh, eventually I'll, I'll, uh, I'll add a little bit of link to this one probably, and just kind of make sure that these are tacked down to the, uh, to the wood surface here. Um, everything that's here I already had, I haven't spent a penny to build this other than purchasing this controller, the, then, then this Sterilite box. The box ran, I want to say, 350 375 at Walmart. I just took a second to zoom in, and I wanted to point out that there are... Uh, three pads on this board here. Whenever you remove these, you can actually get to all the other pads that are available. But this is the RJ45, or I should say the data plus, the data minus, and the data ground. Now what I typically will do is I'll run uh, two cables. I will, I will have, well I'll run one network cable with the orange stripe and usually the brown stripe. I'll twist them together and I'll solder them to that solder pad there. I'll twist the orange solid and the brown solid together and solder them to this pad. And once I run that, once I run those two wires, then I bring them over to here and then I split them off because I have two different uh, RJ45 jacks. I run the orange ones over to this one and the brown one's over to this one. I have a Y connection that actually splits my data, so I created an in and an out, and it doesn't matter which one you use because uh, it just receives the data, but it also splits it and allows it to carry on using this other jack that I'll put an out onto. Okay, David, uh, this is David's uh, idea of the, the Two channel star, which uh, I saw him do, and he used he used um, actual uh, dowel dowel rods, wooden dowel rods. I used these stars, and they are left over from last year. Actually, they're left over from three years ago. These stars have uh, roughly, I want to say, one, two, three, six. I'm going to be using uh, four stars, two channels each, so that's eight channels total at 50 nodes each, so that's uh, 400 or uh, 200. So half as much, uh, half as much of the draw will be put on the, these nodes and to that power supply. That's a lot of information there, but uh, what I wanted to do was I just wanted to go through. I wanted to show you. Bam! Here is a quick controller design that I came up that runs off of a computer power supply using one of the standard 27 channel controllers set up with uh, external um, external outputs for, uh, for or external uh, RJ45 connections for the data as well as your inputs or your outputs to the controller from the controller to the lights 
and um, a pretty clean setup. I'm, I'm happy. This looks like it's going to store a whole lot easier, a, a lot more neat, um, and I think it's going to turn out pretty well. Uh, I'm going to be able to use some power supplies that otherwise would not have worked in a, re in, in a regular uh, case that I had been using, but these should work just fine for the intention that I've got now. So.